so first of all, uh, I think we need an EU level database of media ownership. It's not really a question. Access by civil society and journalists is still ensured by the law as the court did not allow that part of the directive. But what does it mean in the practical level? A public official will decide it on record by record cases, on requester by requester basis, where a national lawmaker will define who is a journalist and who can, who can have access to these beneficial ownership databases. And let me add one more thing. So in many cases, when a journalist conducts an, an investigation on certain issues, they want to remain anonymous. So our approach is to ensure that the general public has access to ownership databases. So first and foremost, to answer your question, how to fix this problem, the legislator, EU legislator, should determine the requirement for a publicly available media ownership database involving academia to ensure that data collection and also the proper updates. Second, the legislator should explicitly specify the objective of public interest and I think it is not a complicated legal task because the media helps form public opinion and directly influences the outcome of the elections. By doing so and using the public interest argument, EU legislators could prevent further limiting access to information. And with this solution, we could define a subject matter, namely media ownership, where general access to information is an overriding public interest. And of course, there are many other questions to discuss, such as how data protection is weaponized and misused, and why the Court of Justice is the only supranational court that does not accept third party interventions. But all in all, there is an opportunity now for EU legislators to ensure that public interest prevails in the field of media ownership. But for this, they must take the necessary bold steps to require general access to EU level media ownership database.